Hey, folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. We're talking hockey. We're talking about the Sunday outdoor game at Lake Tahoe. Glad to be with you at ATS.io. Don't forget our buddy Adam Burke, the great job he does with his podcast each and every weekday for you. Hey, we're dumb, but we're not stupid. All week long, we've been talking specifically about this hockey game. Yet Vegas and Colorado, we have another video for you at ATS.io. On Saturday, then this game on Sunday with Philadelphia taking on Boston. Bruins first in the East, Flyers number two in the East. Great goalies. You're going to have Rask and Hart. Now, the total on the game, the Vegas game, they made the total five and a half. And you've got the goalies that were number one and two in the league in save percentage, and it's an outdoor game. I thought they could have considered making the total five. Now, if you've got a total of five and a half in this spot, uh, and maybe this number comes down based on how the Vegas goes game goes, but, you know, obviously two different teams. But the point we'd been making all week long, year after year after year, you look under the total in outdoor games. Generally speaking, wind can be a factor. The ice may be not so good, but the league is so much better at making the ice now that that will likely not be a concern. But what has generally been the one situation that could result in goals being scored is sun. Of all things, you, we played the under, and then all of a sudden games were going over. Going, What's going on? Why, why are they scoring? And then you realize they plopped the rink down in the middle of a football stadium, and the rink has to go there. And if it's a sunny day, the glare off the ice, the goalies are blinded. So I've been talking about that for the better part of the week, and don't you know, the NHL ends up moving the start time of this game up an hour to 11 Pacific time because bright sunshine is in the forecast later in the day. So what they're telling you is later in the day, those playing conditions could be impossible for the goaltenders. Well, moving it up an hour won't make it as bad but it's still going to be an issue and it's sun is the actual issue the goalies wear eye black but it doesn't matter the glare and they set the rink up you can see the shade and you see the shade behind me the impact that light has on uh what the goalies are gonna see it's actually a nice little prop for this video and they've got it that the shadows are from side to side across the rink because they set the rink up on a golf course. So they've tried to mitigate the sun as a problem. They have the luxury of doing that up in Lake Tahoe. But if they're moving the game up an hour because they're worried about the sun and what it would be like in the third period, that still means it's likely to be an issue. 11 a.m., I mean, I'm, I'm shooting this video at 9.30 Pacific time. At 11 a.m., the sun is still going to be a big issue for the goaltenders. I think you look for this game to go over the total. The venue, the vista, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. But a chance maybe for you to make some money with good goalies on the ice, but maybe goals being scored because the sun will impact how they can play the game.